Alright, let's find out what the secrets of Celia are. And... Ha! Nice. Poison Bloom. Poison Bloom. Hey there, friends. Okay, so everything should be open now, and we've killed basically everyone in here. So we should be free to just whiz around and... Right, here was one. Night Comet. Uh, 38 int. Damn, that's a fucking big one. Fires a semi-invisible magic comet. This sorcery can be cast repeatedly and while in motion. Uh, charging enhances potency. The Celian sorcerers were assassins, and it is said that they often hunted their fellows. Huh. Makes the caster semi-invisible. I mean, it makes sense that these invisibility ones are here. Uh, where we got that staff that was, like, better with invisibility stuff. While on horseback, effect extends to cover the mount... Celian assassins considered every option that aided their dirty work. Makes your weapon invisible. Celian assassins used it to pre present themselves as unarmed. Uh, then these are very similar. The Amber Shard and the Night Comet. Very interesting. Very curious. Hello, bud. Sir, bud. One here. Spell Drake Talisman plus one. Nothing too exciting. Boosts magical damage negation. What are the what are the ones I have on at the moment? I have the restore HP one. Oh wait, I have a third slot. When did I get that? I don't remember getting that. Fuck. Uh, raises attributes, increases damage taken. That's the sick one. Sick one. Uh, this raises attributes even further, but only by three. This one does it by five. This one does it by three, and it's the opposite ones. And I don't really care about my faith and arcane. Mind and intelligence, sure, but I don't think it's worth the extra damage when some of the stats I don't use. Okay, maximum stamina, eh. Uh... Greatly raises maximum equip load. That could be pretty nice. Although it's not like I'm hurting for equip load, really. Boost physical damage negation? Greatly? That could be nice. Enhances the final hit of chain attacks with twin blades shown on the picture. That does sound cool, but we never get to the final hit, right? <laughs> like, things... Unless it's, unless you're fighting a boss, things die before the final hit, so... Potency of sorceries. Shortens spell casting time. As the husband of Renala of Caria, the red-haired Radigan studied sorcery. And as the husband of Queen Marika, he studied incantations. Thus did the hero aspire to be complete. Ooh, that one could be good. Raises attack power with successive attacks. I think I was thinking about putting that on before and forgot. But now, it is on. Uh, there was one around the back, wasn't there? Oh, hi. Thought we'd got everyone here. I assume there's three, right? Three towers and three of these doors for us to get. Apart from the big ones. Imbued sword key. Nice. Nice. So the, the sword keys. Do we have do we have two of those? 
Uh, where would they go? Are they key items? Yeah. The imbued ones are the ones that unseal the four belfries, right? And we have, we've been through one of them. We've been through, wait, no, not there. There. Uh, we've been through the one that took us back to the start of the game. Uh, there. However, the other two, we don't know where they take us. However, I've been told by a friend that I should not uh, use them. Because apparently, for them, they did use them and felt it was kind of spoilery. Because it takes you to areas and stuff you haven't seen yet and they... They, they were saddened that they used it, and so they let me know that that's how they felt, and so I'm going to not use them, because I'd rather I'd rather see areas like when we get there, I guess, as opposed to just like click a button and they go, hey, here's a tease of a future area, and now you already know it, but you can't actually go to it, and that's, that's it kind of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and not use those. Uh, Apologies if that annoys people, but I would rather be surprised when I actually reach an area and experience it, and I can actually, like, do it rather than rather than just get teased by it. So, that is why I'm not using those. Uh, right, so we now have the other doors. We've got big door at the top of the stairs, got little door over yonder. Which one should we go through first? Big door, top of stairs, I guess. Just realised we have essentially a level. Let's go and uh, spend that. We can just teleport to it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm running, running to find the grace. So I can just fucking jump down there, like yeet. Uh, right. So, how much do I need? I need uh, 2,200 more. So I need another 600. That'll do. Very nice. It's nice. Now everything's going to have respawned. Is the red aura that appears around me, my attacks becoming stronger with each hit? Is that what that is signifying? Because I don't think I was getting that red aura before I put that on, right? Pretty sure. Man, I wonder if I could beat the fucking Falling Star Beast on top of Mount Gelmir now. I wonder if I was just having a supreme skill issue when I first arrived there and was just worn out and playing shit and I could have beaten it. Seek house and then time for fire. Oh, I spy a great sight. Seek house and then time for fire. So, I'm now up here. So, I've been around here before, but I haven't been specifically to this bit, because I haven't got that grace sign. I've been in the general area, so it can't be a big part. Hi. Secret! No. The fuck is that? Oh. 
Oh my god, we're being summoned to another world? That's a rarity. Holy fuck, we just got owned. <laughs> we just got owned as we were being summoned. That's a fucking rarity. Pog. Oh. I'm not going to get to do anything, am I? I can't ride my horse, can I? No. Just gonna let my stamina regen, because it... Well! <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. That was a really good fight. Really enjoyed that. Really glad we got to participate in some jolly cooperation. Always a pleasure. Always a fucking pleasure to participate in that good, good, jolly cooperation. Got a rune arc out of it. Have I ever used a rune arc? I don't think I have, because that's pretty scarce, right? Oh, shit! Oof. Oof. How many do I have? Uh, <laughs> scarce, yeah. I've got 24. <laughs> yeah, very scarce. I should use more of those, huh? It's like, I come to a boss, and I'm like, man, I could boost all my stats by 5, but I could save this for a harder boss, and then I've got lots of them for a harder boss. And then I come to a harder boss, and I'm like, well, I could use them now, or, hear me out, I could save them for a harder boss. And then I come to a harder, etc., Anything up here? There's notes. Not sure there's actually anything to see. I don't know how you'd get up there, though. It's too far away to make a jump from there. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. Right. Onwards. Onwards. Grab these flowers that I'm never gonna use, never gonna use, cause I don't really craft. Grab all these flowers that I'm never gonna use, that I'm never gonna use, cause I don't really craft, oh no. There's a fucking thing to drop down to there. Is that too high? I don't even know if I can make this. If I jump, I feel like I was going to dro drop lower onto there, but I don't think I can actually jump from there to get over there. I think I have to jump from here. This might be death, though. Let's find out. Fuck. That's death. <laughs> Fucking missed it, didn't I? Fucking prick. Fucking... Wait. Where's the stake going to put me? I fucking forgot to... Well, I didn't forget to click jump. I didn't press jump early enough. I was already off the ledge, so no jump was attained. Uh, yeah, no, that's not where I want to be. <laughs> that's not where I want to be. Not at all. Let's try dropping down here. OK. 
Can we make it from there? You know what? Maybe we can. It's just like you have to be holding the button for a sec to actually get the run to work. So I need to like run along and then turn and jump, I think. I don't think I can just do it from here. I think, it, I think it has to be from this branch, though. I don't see another way of getting to that. Oh, yes, made it. Okay. Cerulean Tear Scarab. Talisman? No? Wait, did I miss it? That looked like it would be a talisman. Headpiece? Ah, yes. Okay, we already got that one. Uh, these scarabs roll clumps of cerulean tears during their labors. Increases recovery effects of the flask, but increases damage taken. Aight. Aight. Nothing too incredible. Was there anything I needed from over here? Anything else I missed? Oh, there is actually. Piece of shit. How did that miss? Boo, just let me up. <laughs> Boo. I get up there then. I don't know. It's not even going to be anything good, is it? The fuck did you just say to me, motherfucker? Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? How dare you? Because I can't jump from there. You know what? Fuck that. Don't care. <laughs> C to the B to the power of A. Onwards and upwards we go. No. Hello. Oh god! Fuck me! I thought it was gonna follow the road. Wait, didn't I kill you? I thought I... I swear I put the fucking final blow on these guys, but apparently not. There we go. Man, fuck those ball traps. I don't like having my balls trapped. Some people are into that shit. Oh, fuck. Get fucking wrecked, mate. Hello, skull. That's not worrying at all. No. There's these massive fucking giants that used to live here, I guess. In the olden times. Big ass grave.
Got him. Man, it's such a cool world. <laughs> I genuinely feel like Elden Ring probably has the single greatest open world ever made. I really do. No other open world have I fallen in love with the way I've fallen in love with this one. It's just... It's just incredible. Actually incredible. If this game doesn't win Game of the Year... I mean... I would be shocked, but I won't be, because there is actually no chance. There is a 0% chance that this game doesn't win Game of the Year at the end of the year. There's, like, it just, there's literally no way. It's not a possible outcome. You're right there. Church of the Plague. Hello. Hello. What if it is this a sacred tear? Yeah, boy. Arms required ahead, but ah, oh, you don't have the right. Who's there? Well, it matters not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. Sorry to hear. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. Hang about. Hang about. Arms required ahead. If you are wise, Wait. my flesh writhes. What does this one say? That one doesn't say anything, but... I'm I'm very sus. I'm incredibly sus. She is scarlet rot afflicted, and she has one arm. You know who else has one arm? And is scarlet rot afflicted? Uh, is it a key item? Golden prosthesis used by the one-armed Valkyrie. This is Melenia's arm. Mali Murray, Lord of the Shaded Castle, embraced this prosthesis. He claimed to feel the presence of his personal goddess. Are you... I feel so sus of this. <laughs> and it's called Church of the Plague. So mega sassy. Wait, how much do I have? Oh, nowhere. Nowhere even close. If you are wise, my flesh. But wasn't the wasn't the un unalloyed gold needle? Wasn't that like to help with that? I wonder if that's the person that he was trying to help. But, like, that is very weird. I mean, may maybe it's not that weird. Maybe it's just, uh, you are likely to lose limbs if you get Scarlet Rot. But it's a little bit sussy. There is definitely... There's definitely an inkling of sausage going on there. I, like... Starlight Shard... Is she Melenia? I don't know. I don't know why she'd be chilling here. Fucking just big chilling. Oh. Did not realise I still had that out. Hmm. Hmm. Look at this massive amount of land. It's like this whole thing. But I don't think we can get to it. 
pretty sure anywhere we try to jump to, it'll like, it'll be too far. But it really looks like there, like there's so much land there. Looks like you should be able to get to it. I don't know. Like it's not a small amount. That is a, I mean, it's not got anything in it, so I guess it might just be decoration, but. Wait, what are you, you've got a fucking thing for me? Okay, well then you can get down there if there's a fucking dungeon down there. That's what those point to, right? How the fuck then? Have fun there, Mr. Horse, horse dude. Hmm. Gonna fight that big boy. We can continue going further up. Don't feel like I need to kill all the skeletons. That's gonna take a long time if I tried to do that. Hi. Holy fuck a moly. Jesus. You got anything for me? Beast blood. Jesus. What were you fucking guarding? This grave? Howdy. You want some? I'll give it ya. You want some? I'll give it ya. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna start killing all of them. It would take such a long time, <laughs> such a long time. Got a path up here. Howdy. Smithing stone seven. Oh boy. And a key. We love to see it. Oh, and smithing stone eight. Four. Oh. Big fucking dick. Huge dick. Hello. It's a lot of fucking dragons. Have I been... Is that Fort Faroth? That is Fort Faroth. Okay, so I've been here. Interesting. We also need to do the tower. Okay, so there's nothing more over here then. Let's go back to old Gowry and see if he's got anything to say. Old Gowry boy, because he said, give me time. I'm hoping that just means once you've rested, you can come back. Hello, goodbye. Nice to see you. Oh, doggo! Get 
get bullied. Boy. I have awaited your return. Nice. The needle is repaired. Now it will forestall the rotting sickness, I'm sure. Will you give it to the girl, Millicent? I will reward you in kind. Unalloyed gold needle fixed. Millicent rests at the church atop the cliff beyond Celia. Ah, it Nova, is her. Tended Millicent. To by the witless pests who worship her, or rather her rotting sickness, as a god. A wretched fate, indeed. The poor girl, she never wished for any of this. Do you find it peculiar that I would show such concern for the girl? Well, I'm the one that found her. A mere babe in the swamp of Aeonia. Oh? She is one of my dear daughters. But the rotting sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. I didn't always worry so much. <laughs> now, all you need do is deliver the needle to Millicent. She's convalescing in the church atop the cliff just beyond Celia. Do so, and you shall receive a handsome recompense, of course. Oh, yeah? I like me some handsome now, recompense. All you she's convalescing. Do so. Hmm. Millicent. That is Millicent. Okay. But she was found as a baby in the middle of the swamp? I'm wondering if Melenia died. Because, like, she marched her army down here to fight Radan. And she... Wasn't Radan winning or some shit? And so she, like, just blew everything the fuck up with the rot. She just, like, did ultra, ultra rot fuck you mode and fucked this entire area. And I'm wondering if that also killed her and, like, reverted her to baby form or something? I have no idea. It was, like, it was such a powerful thing that she was reverted to a child state and then he found her and didn't know that she was Melenia and he she he's raised her as this Millicent? If you are wise, you will leave immediately. Lady, I've My got something to help you, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Rot. Give an unalloyed gold needle. I mean, fuck it, right? You ask that I stab myself with the needle. Yeah. Well, the scarlet rot. But how? <laughs> Never mind. I've decided I would rather trust you than simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? Oh. <sighs> Hello? You doing it? There we well, go. That was easier than expected. But why do I feel so Uh-oh. You okay? She ain't talking. Uh, what if we rest? Hey, hello. You always turn to hide the arm. She was hiding it when she was sat down. She's hiding it now she's stood up. I really feel like this is the most sus thing in the entire fucking world. That she has one missing arm, and we have a fucking prosthetic arm, and we know who it's for, and it's a it's Rot Queen, and you are like Rot fucked. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm onto something. I feel like maybe this is Melenia that was reverted to a baby after she did something fucking to cause all this shit here. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm way off base. But like this is that that can't be a coincidence. I. Hoped to see you again. My apologies for when last we met. I fainted before I could even thank you. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. 
even the nightmares have abated. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself, I can move as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you, but I would like you to have this, by way of thanks. A token though it is. Prosthesis wearer heirloom. Prosthesis wearer? Prosthesis wearer? You're just fucking teasing me at this point. Raises decks? Love that. A talisman engraved with a scene from a heroic tale. Raises decks. Though born into the accursed rot, when the young girl encountered her mentor and his flowing blade, she gained wings of unparalleled strength. What? Is that her? A scene from a heroic tale. Born into the accursed rot, which this girl was, when the young girl encountered her mentor. Mentor. I don't think Gowrie's her mentor. His flowing blade. She gained wings of unparalleled strength. Hmm. Hmm. I'm considering leaving. On a journey. Oh yeah? With the needle buried in my flesh, I've started to recall, but dimly, my destiny. It's all thanks to you. My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. I'm considering leaving with the needle my destiny. Okay. If I rest again, are you gone? Yup. Interesting. Where would she have gone to? Now the new question is, now that we have like these added to the game, does it show people who have moved? I guess not actually, because it doesn't show Popro, and I'm pretty sure Popro is going to be down here. He said he was going to the castle. And he's left his last point, but there's nothing here, so... I don't think we'll be able to find her just by... Like... Looking at the, uh... Boil prawn shack? I don't remember that. Don't think we'll be able to find her just by looking at stuff, will we? Two people here? Finger reader crone and nomadic merchant. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, hmm. The issue now is... I don't know where she would have gone. I mean, if my theory's right, she might have gone back to the capital. I may look that up. I may look up where she's gone next because... Like, I might have already passed it, and if I've already passed it, then I would never be able to find her, so... It, like, otherwise... <laughs> short of literally, like, teleporting to every single grace site and looking around, you know? Like, so I might look that up. Haven't looked up much in this game. We looked up one painting p position. Uh, I think there was one other thing. But I can't remember what it was. But nothing big. But that might be thing number three. Because that is very interesting to me. And I know how FromSoft likes to hide, like, secret bosses and stuff. Like, you've got the whole painting stuff from one, you've got the you've got the dark lurker and stuff in two don't know about three but I'm sure there's more in there, there's hidden bosses in Sekiro there's bound to be hidden bosses in this so I'm wondering if like we have to follow a quest chain with her and then eventually her memories will come back, she'll realise she's Melenia and then we get to fight her or something So I don't want to miss that, in case that is it. I don't know. I don't know. I may be so far off base, but I might look that up. And by might, I mean I probably will look that up. Alright, but that marks the end of another pretty successful session. I am so happy with how my return to this game is going. Feels good. Feels very, very good. 
do enjoy. So, if you've enjoyed as well, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can, I would really appreciate that, and I will see you next time for more Elden Ring. Thanks for watching, see you then.